against the Peugeot and Audi, which is nice to see as well. Um, yeah, so I'm really just you know, positive about this weekend, just looking to the future. After the morning session, we had a little issue with the oil pressure, so just to be safe, we had a little extra time. Um, decided to put the other engine in. Um, so we take a look at the other one and see what it was, you know, but it wasn't really a serious issue. But just being on the safe side, we had, like I said, the time, the weather wasn't looking really, really good. So uh, they estimated about four hours to do the change, and uh, they were spot on four hours. We got the car out and was able to do you know, a few laps and the shake down. And uh, this engine actually does feel a little crisper too. So we were building up some positive crankcase pressure in the other engine. Not a lot, but uh, just enough. So it was a good, it was a good call. Time Rock was the last time we were actually driving the car in the rain, and, um, and that's quite a different circuit to here. Um, this doesn't have an awful lot of grip, but it's a lot wider and obviously a lot longer and faster than Lime Rock. So, yeah, the car felt good. Actually, we made some changes um, anticipating a dry session. Um, actually, the information that we gathered over the, the, the wet session actually really helped us. Uh, we had some concerns over a few different little things um, to do with the balance of the car. And, and in being rain, uh, that's allowed us to, to really get some good information on the running. So we're confident, really looking forward to the weekend that rain or, or shine really will be 
mind, so um, it's, uh, it's just really looking forward to um, what the weather's going to do, really. Nobody knows, it's been saying about rain, but it was up to see. Yeah, actually, I drove this, uh, this track in 2007 with the FIA GT1 Championship. Um, that was in a, in a gigaway Aston Martin GT1 car, so that was really good fun. Um, but also, I um, did the uh, race in the Asian Pro Championship. 2005 and actually came out as champion and so I've got some experience of racing in Asia. That's nice, I've been here before and um, just kind of get a feel of, of what it's going to be like but that kind of helps us a little bit. Obviously I was able to talk all around the track and the speed of the development a little bit there. Every little helps and, and that's what we've got. Elizabeth and the five children with me. Uh, fortunately this race comes at the same time as the half term politics school in the United Kingdom. So we have spent a few days here in China and it's been incredible. We flew to Beijing, saw the Great Wall of China, went to Xi'an where the uh, terracotta warriors were got a real sense of the tremendous culture and history, ancient history of this as well as the, uh, the contrast with extreme modernity. Uh, Travelling from the centre of Shanghai to the airport, we went on the world's fastest train. It's the uh, maglev, so it's a uh, limitated on magnets, no friction. It does 341 kilometres an hour. And when it crossed, the train going in the other direction, it also doing 340 kilometres an hour. Yeah, really perfectly. So, it's fascinating. China is a country which is changing so fast. It's very hard to think about to, to recognise just how quickly this country has changed, but also has a rich and long history. Uh, and